Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make waffle blanket. It's so simple uh, blanket. Maybe uh, you know uh, this stitch. I think uh, if you are not a total beginner, you all know this stitch. Um, I want to make it because you ask it. Um, from me and for this one I used this yarns uh, I used the white for the border and I think it looks beautiful um, that yarn is a uh, brand name is Janan but I think you can call it Kanan something like that it's Turkish yarn but uh, I think they made this uh, for selling abroad because uh, I never saw any yarn shop uh, selling uh, this brand's yarn in Turkey. You can only find a few uh, of them somewhere here and there. Uh, and I never try it because I don't know the brand, but it's so beautiful. It's really so beautiful. I'm so happy to uh, use this yarn for this blanket. It's so soft and it has sparkles on it. When I want to use a yarn with sparkle, I always uh, think like um, this can't be so soft and uh, I nearly every time I was right but this is so soft so with this yarn I want to give you the measurements to um, 100 grams uh, 320 meters 350 yards and it's uh, I think size 3 yarn and um, for this one it's recommend uh, 3 and 4 millimeter hooks I use 5 <laughs> sorry I used 5 and 4.5 millimeter crochet hooks 4.5 for the uh, border and five for the main body and um, you can use any size of yarn for this blanket uh, you can choose any yarn you want and it's so easy it's two row repeats and there will be a written pattern when it's ready I will put it into the uh, description box and a uh, comment section and you can just check my website uh, sinscrochet.com too and if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. I will start with a slip knot. And chain 113. Uh, your chains must be multiples of 3 plus 2 only one time. Uh, I will make a small version uh, as I always uh, make. And uh, if you want to make it bigger just add 3, 3, 3. I will make my 113 chains and turn I complete my chains now yarn over skip one two chains skip two chains into this third chain insert your hook grab the yarn yarn over and pull through from two loops yarn over and pull through from two loops that's a double crochet and 
we will just make a double crochet into every stitch don't miss any chain make one double crochet into every chain and I'll see you at the end I complete double crochets chain 2 and turn this does not count as a stitch into this first stitch make a double crochet and around this next double crochet we will make a front post double crochet yarn over insert your hook behind this post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's a front post double crochet and into this next two stitches, we will make double crochets into the stitch. Make two double crochets. And around this third, make a front post double crochet. Insert your hook from right to left around the post. Make a front post double crochet. Make one, two regular double crochet around the third one. Make a front post. So keep repeating this. Make two double and one front post double crochet. I'll see you at the end of the row. I'm at the end. I will make one, two double crochets, a front post double crochet, and make a double crochet here. Chain two. Make one double crochet into the first stitch and make one more into the next one. So we have two regular double crochet here if you are looking like that. This time we will make two front post double crochet around these two. one two and into this next stitch there's a front post double crochet if you are looking from the right side we will make a double crochet here into the next two stitches around the next two stitches sorry make two front post double crochet and into the next one make a double crochet around next two post make two front post and into the next stitch make a double crochet and it will look like that Just keep making like that and finish this row. I made last two front post double crochets and I'll make two regular double crochets. Chain two, turn. Make a double crochet into first stitch and around this next one make a front post 
into the next two stitches make two double crochets and on the next one make a front post make two double crochets make a front post actually that's the repeat of the uh, row two we will repeat row two and three again and again and just uh, make our blanket bigger like that uh, make it as you like and then we will make the border seal I complete the blanket is 22 inch long right now it's a little small uh, and now we will make the border for the border I will use a uh, another color white uh, you don't have to use a second color uh, I just want to try it um, I think it looks better uh, like that and if you want you can change your crochet hook uh, for maybe you can use 4.5 uh, I will try this one because uh, we will make the ribbing border. Um, I think that works. If it's not, I will change this and I will tell you. Now uh, I'm at the right side of my work and I made this last row. I'm here. I want to show you how it looks right now. now I will start uh, to make the border from here. I will not directly start from here. That's our corner, as you know. Uh, I don't want to confuse you. Uh, so I will start from here uh, I will make the corner later okay just make a slip stitch around this double crochet chain two and make a double crochet here that's my first double crochet okay I made a double crochet and now I will make uh, another spot. I want to explain it is. Generally, I like to make it like that. Just put one into this double crochet and one into here. Then one into around this double crochet and one here. You can think it like putting two double crochets uh, for a row. But I don't want to make it like that this time because uh, it will be too much. So we can make it like that. Just put one double crochet into this stitch. And put one around the double crochet. And skip this stitch. When you see this line skip this stitch and around this double crochet make one into the stitch we made this double crochet make one around the double crochet make one and I see this line I will skip this stitch and make one around the double crochet one two three skip here one two three <laughs> and i will just keep making like that i think that will be a good and i'll see you at the end of the row sorry and i'll uh, see you at the corner
I complete this row. By the way, I change my crochet hook as I said before. I use 4.5, I rip it off and start again uh, with this one. I totally have 99 uh, double crochets right now. For here, you will need an odd number. It will be easy like that. If you have an even number, just uh, make one less or one more double crochet and make it an odd number. And into the corner, insert, make three double crochets. Turn and here we have chains. Put one double crochet into every chain. Again, we will need an odd number if we are not. If we don't have, uh, you can make one more or less and make it like that. And into the corner, here again, we will make three double crochets here. And when you turn, you will make the same thing. Just put one, two, three, skip here. One, two, three, skip this one. And when you turn, you have stitch. Just make here too. I'll see you at the end of the row. I complete the row, almost complete the row, and I have 109 uh, double crochets here. And into this last stitch, of course you could have different number. As I said before, it's uh, important thing is, uh, it must be an odd number. Into the corner I will make one, two, three double crochets and insert into this stitch take the other yarn and complete the slip stitch and cut this yarn i will always cut the yarn for every row chain two around this first double crochet I will make a back post double crochet. Insert my hook from back to front. And around the double crochet, give it to back again. Grab the yarn. One, two. Around the next one, I will make a front post. A back post. A front post, a back post, a front post, and I will just keep making like that. I'll see you at the corner. I'm at the corner, almost at the corner. I'll make my last uh, back post double crochet, and for these three double crochets, I will make a front post and around this middle one I will make a back post around the same post make a front post and Around the same post, make one more back post. It could be um, a little hard at first. Okay. I made a back post, front post, back post. And 
that's the third one I made the front post and just oh sorry made the back post and the front post the back post just keep making like that and uh, for the corner I will make the same thing uh, I will finish this row I made the last corner I will make a front post back post sorry a front post and a back post for the last one we will make a front post insert into the first stitch and take the other yarn chain 2 and make the same thing a back post a front post a back post a front post keep making this I'll see you uh, in the corner I'm at the corner I will make a front post a back post and that's our middle um, stitch I will make a front post and a back post and a front post double crochet around it and make a back post and front post keep making like that and make it as long as you want uh, for the other row our middle um, and double crochet will be this back post double crochet and we will make a back post front post back post double crochets around this one just uh, keep making like that see you at the end I made it one two three four five totally five rows join middle slip stitch make a chain now I will cut this tail and hide it that's enough for me And that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Series Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there. It's also my website and Pinterest address too. Uh, please check my website for the written patterns. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.